making uh, kokum kadi for the welcome drink. Chopped really fine, even some coriander. The thing about potatoes, a uh, good French fries. What I do is I um, I usually cut them into uh, strips, and then for starters, I'm making cauliflower, capsicum, and potato with a nice coconut chutney. Uh, right now I'm just frying the fritters and um, I think I'm done. I just need to plate up after this. The main course I'm making that prawn pulao with uh, a nice raita. Now I'm going to start adding the vegetables one by one. I have two cups of uh, basmati rice with me. So before I can add uh, the water, I'm, I want to uh, roast the rice a bit. Now that this is getting done, uh, my dessert is a moong dal uh, halwa. I'm going to add the moong dal around two cups of water. And I'll put this in the gas for, like I'll, I'll wait for one, one week. The moong is cooked really well. It's not overcooked. I just, I wanted it just like this. I'm gonna keep this here. I'm gonna put some ghee. Uh, this seems to be done. I'm not going to cook it any further. I don't want to overcook it. I'm going to add some uh, grated coconut. This dish, it required chana dal, but I didn't have chana dal, so I used moong dal. I have my dishes ready here. For the welcome drink, I have my kokum kadi. Then for uh, the starters, I have my fritters, my uh, cauliflower and potato fritters with the coconut chutney. Then I have my prawn pulao with the raita and my uh, moong dal uh, halwa. I didn't know how to turn on the gas like several times and chef had to come and help me with it. But the thing about uh, the one and a half hours that we got is that I, I found myself uh, like doing nothing in between. So it wasn't really like I was racing against time. I'm really scared about what they're going to say because uh, I messed up my plating. So I just hope the taste kind of gets me through to the next round. 
So let's just hope that everything goes well. Let's now. hope for the best. Yeah. Hi, Malushi. How are you? That's nice. Okay, Madhushi, what do you have for us? Sir, for uh, the welcome... Let's do it step by step. Yes, what is this? Uh, that's the welcome drink. It's kokum uh, kadi. The twist that I have uh, made using it, I've just added um, garlic juice extract instead of the whole garlic because it, it lends a very uh, strong flavour. So that's my thing. I've just added uh, garlic uh, juice. So it's not exactly a soul kadi you made a little twist on it. And I've also added coconut milk in it. This in is it. a man from Bangalore who understands these things. We'll ask him. Mm. Quite nice. Nice. I think it's a bit heavy in the garlic, though, but it's nice. But I suppose you would argue the garlic is the point. Thank you. I like the tanginess. Thank you. Yeah. I think you were, you were right in, in kind of saying that I want my kokum and I like that about it. Right. We were trying to substitute it with camera yeah. and everything and you said no, I want kokum. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. I'm agreeing with that also. Thank you. What has my two favorite ingredients in the world? Kokum and garlic. So how can I not like <laughs> it? Thank you so much. The next one is um, actually uh, the fritters. I've used two different uh, vegetables, uh, cauliflower and potato, because they're two, my two favorite uh, vegetables. And um, I've accompanied that with a chutney, a, a simple, very simple coconut, uh, coriander and ginger chutney. I think this dish is very underrated, as in it's usually had, like at least at my place, we usually have it, you know, with tea. Yeah. But I think it's, it's, you know, it, it should go with the normal, like... You think it deserves better? It deserves better. Okay, it's, it's really underrated. Let's try it first. What else is there, apart from basin? A uh, basin, I've uh, put sesame seeds, mm. that kind of... Um, I feel it adds a little crunch to it, like a different texture to it. And I've also added hing. I quite like it. I think the chutney is fantastic. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Cauliflower is. Mm. I think nice after all this while, it's still got its business. So. Yeah, the frying yes. is Come very good. good. Thank the you. The frying is very good. And I like the layers of flavor in the chutney. Thank you so much. The main course is um, a, a simple prawn pulao that's accompanied uh, by a raita. I, uh, I wanted to use cucumber in my raita, but I had access only to zucchini, so that's what I've put. And um, the thing about this pulao is uh, I've wanted the prawn, the flavor of the prawn to come through, so I've not added too many spices, I mean too many masalas. Right. So it's a very clean flavor, hopefully. <coughs> to have it with the raita? With the raita, the otherwise the it, it kind of gets a little dry. Okay, so. you're the zucchini man. <laughs> I think it's quite interesting for you to use zucchini in a yeah. raita. Yes. Right. Yes. I'm gonna try it. What do you think Victor? If the intention was to get the prawn flavour out, mm. I don't get it. Oh. I don't get okay. the prawn, the flavour of prawn in the rice. At all. Yeah. The raita is a little too sour for me. Okay. Indeed. I think it's quite nice. Thank you. And I think the raita goes very well with it. I have to say I actually agree with the Jeet. And I agree with Vikram that prawn flavour has not come through. Mm. But what I think you really scored is on texture. Mm. I think the baby corn adds a nice texture to the rice. Mm. I think the zucchini is absolutely the right texture. Neo, 
probably better off with zucchini than you would have been with cucumber. <laughs> exactly. I was thinking also. Zucchini, yeah. yeah. So you probably created a good dish, zucchini, right? Uh, my dessert is a moong dal uh, halwa. Okay. And um, yeah, that's it. What can you say about moong dal halwa? Or <laughs> no, the thing is, uh, this dish it required chana dal, but I didn't have chana dal, so I used moong dal. That is not much of an explanation, but we'll try it anyway. I think it is what you would expect from a moong dal. Well, gentlemen, I like it. Okay. It's not easy to, to make a halwa. People might think it's very easy to make a halwa. It's not at all. The uh, the element of ghee that is there mm -hmm. is, is perfect. It's not too much, mm -hmm. it's not too less. Um, the texture of, of the almonds is, is fantastic. The sweetness for me is, is absolutely spot on. I don't like it to work with sweet. It works for me. Okay. This will be well balanced. Yeah. Yeah. So they like it. Both of us think it's fine, but mm. very, very boring. But overall, great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. much.